Hi guys, and I'm back with this um, review. Uh, this is the review of the J70 uh, by Rapid, and it is an exclusive to uh, Model Rail. It is several variants of this loco, um, 500 uh, piece, basically, for like the mid 500 of each vari variant. Um, and I went for the wartime livery one, just for something different. Here is some model information. There is an N gauge white metal kit of the J70 in the Tom, uh, Thames head range sold by BH Enterprise. Crown line and new cast both sell a 44mm kit of the J70. Case have produced one in the past but is no longer available. And Backman and Hornby also do a J70 in the Thomas the Tank range as Toby. And um, as of 2019, Rapide's um, J70 00 scale one is available. So first off is the box. Uh, it's the usual Rapide style box. It opens and it's got the um, packaging inside with the foam. Um, you also get in the box an exploded diagram with all the parts. Uh, don't know how well you can see that. You get all, all the parts that are fitted, uh, how to fit the skirts, and all the rest. Uh, you also get a book. Uh, an instruction book, not in colour, nothing in colour. Tells you how to add stuff and what to use um, and do with the motor, how to run it in, how to oil it, the usual stuff, chains, and then what other stuff they all do, and sound as well. So, detail parts, um, which you get quite a bit. You get, I think, the um, frames for the windows, you also get a lot to add here. Um, don't know how all this camera is going to pick it up. You get builders plates and all the rest, all hatched. Um, yeah, so it's all nice. Um, very uh, delicate. And you also get another bag of details. Um, in here, if I'm correct, you get the doors, which are not applied, which is a bad thing in my case. You get some chain links, you get a cover, I think it's two covers there for the front of the cow catchers where the couplings are if you want to have it with one coupling or none. So as we look onto the front of the loco, we have the small tension lock coupling there. We also have metal sprung buffers, we have a fine plastic cow catcher. We have some glazing in the cowbell in the front. They're, they're, they're flush glazing there. I think we have separately applied lamp irons. And if you can see here, we have some handles as well. We also have um, some steps down the side as well. And we have where the doors should be from the detail pack there as well. As we move on to the side of the loco, we have some steps there and there as well. I think there's three. We also have some, let's see if we can move it, uh, you see that, just separately applied chains there and there. There's some rivet details around here where the skirts lift up to get to the wheels, and I think them chains hold it in place once you lift it up. We have this wood effect uh, all around the loco. We have some uh, glazing in the uh, windows again, it's flush as well. And if you can just see here, we have uh, some handrails and we have some detail work inside here as well. And same in here, we have some detail work inside there too. Inside uh, the front of, well, the front and the back of the uh, J70 here, we have some detail and it looks like a um, fire and some uh, dials too. Uh, picked out uh, which is quite impressive here on top of the roof we have the um, I think it's the runoff bit for the water from each end of the cab we also have the chimney with a sm smoke, uh, smoke stack we also have a wire going into the roof I'm not too sure what it is and then we have a separately applied 
bow. On the underframe, we have the uh, brake rigging already applied. We have a cog to there as well. I think you can oil that. Then we have the mechanism underneath. Can't really see it on this one because it's closed. Uh, if you look near my thumb, you can see the chains that are separately applied from the start. And then we have the uh, pockets for the couplings and the screws to take the body off uh, with cow catchers as well. GER class C53. The GER class C53 was um, a class of 12060 steam tram locomotive designed by James Holden for the Great Eastern Railway. They passed into the London North Eastern Railway at the grouping and they received an LNR classification of a J70. These locos had 12 by 15 inch outside cylinders driving 3 foot 1 inch uh, wheels in, uh, encased in a skirt. They were the first locomotive on the Great Eastern to use Wiltshire valve gear. They were used on the Wiltonby and Upwell tramway and ports of the Great Yarmouth and Ipswich. From 1930 to 1950, they replaced the earlier GER Class G15 040 of a similar appearance. Here is some information on the class power type st steam. Designer James Holden, Builders Stafford Works, built date 1903 to 1921, and 12 were produced. Wheel configuring is the 060T. They are standard gauge, fuel type is coal, cylinders 2 outside, valve gear Wiltshire. They operated under GER, the Allen ER and BR. The GER had them as a, a C53 and the Allen ER had them as a J70. The power classification from BR is a OF. They were withdrawn in 1942, 1, and the rest were drawn between 19... 49 and 55 all were scrapped Here is some information on the loco I just looked at the GER number 128 the Alinear 1924 number is 7128 the Alinear 1946 number is 8222 and this BR number is 6822 Designer is Holden, the LNER uh, classification is a J70. The wheel configuration is the 060T, Builders is Stafford Works. It came into service during the 6 1914 and it was withdrawn on the 1st 1955 and it was scrapped during the 5th 1955. It was cut up at Stafford Works. Its service life is 40 years and 7 months. Here is some shed codes it had. Uh, KL Kings Lynn, 31B March, 30E Colchester, 32B Ipswich. In fiction, the J70 was an inspiration for the character Toby in the, the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey and the spin-off TV series Thomas and Friends. So yeah guys, that's it on the tracks. Um, it is a nice loco. Uh, next up will be second rate just and point test. So yeah, it managed um, the second radius pretty well. I'd, I probably expect it to do first radius as well, uh, but I haven't got any first radius on. Well, I have on me, but it's um, a bit late to uh, sell. Uh, the points test, 
was a little uh, frustrating. Once it stops, uh, not on a main line, outside of a main line, like a point, it won't restart. Um, I don't know if that's my loco or what. So next up is some slow speed. DC pretty pretty good. Not smooth, but then again, it's only just past the nine o'clock. So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session and the review. Um, before I do my overall opinion, and uh, I stress this is really just my opinion, there might be some others out there that have different and, you know, that's the uh, great thing about YouTube and reviewing, um, is everyone's got an opinion and uh, it's a free world. Uh, so the locals we had on display was the Railway Children um, Penny Tank. The newly acquired N7 by Oxford Rail, and then we had um, the Great Western uh, Hornby Terrier or A1X or A1, depending on your preference. Um, and we had, his running partner was the Model Railway, oh, Model uh, Rail exclusive again, um, USA Dot Tank, and the Wer Werverton uh, Valley one. Um, it's a nice model, and that had some ambulance uh, coaches, and the J70, a bear train. So we've got Bass, Weatherton, uh, Allsops, um, that's a lager and beer, and then we have Bass and Bass, and then we had a um, North Eastern brake van. Um, the J70, in my opinion, is it's a nice loco, it's a bit iffy on um, 
non-mainline track, like I said before. Uh, it also, uh, the amount of detail you have to add to yourself, I don't like. Um, it's got no, like, uh, builder's plate or anything, you have to add it yourself. Uh, I'd rather have to add them chains um, here. I just see them there. I'd rather have to add them uh, than add the uh, stuff from the detail pack, if I'm honest. Um, here's a nice model. Uh, I was expecting big things from Rapid with this after the Sterling single, uh, which, in my opinion, is a stunner it's won an award it's the best loco to date uh this um this one might grow on me it, it might not i don't know i would never get rid of it but i'm just disappointed with the amount of detail you've got to put on i, I personally can't put the detail on uh because of my mo motor skills in my hands uh, because i've got brain damage if uh, any of you didn't know um so i've got to send mine away um and i've already had a quote of someone um, to put it on um, so yeah not cheap um, but overall it's a nice loco limited, like a limited edition I think they're making uh, eight um, and like I said five variants of each um, some have the skirt some don't depending on your preference um, so yeah this is my opinion is it worth it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say, yeah, because Rapid don't really do a lot. Uh, like Hornby or Batman, they'll just do a one-off and that'll be it. So, yeah, it, it's worth it. Just be aware of the detail packs if you're not great at adding stuff. Sorry, this is a bit of a rant. It's just an honest opinion. Um, but this one here, definitely worth the money. Um, so yeah, until next time guys, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from me. Bye.